What's up, you guys? I genuinely don't want to do this. <laughs> this integral is a pain if you don't know what you're doing. But unfortunately, this is a very common integral that will show up in a lot of integration bees. And you must know how to do this. Okay? So, what we're going to do is multiply top and bottom by 2 cosine of x. And so we have 2sc plus 2. Ah! I bet you already know oh, where this is going. Right? This is like 1 plus sine plus cosine squared. Right? Now, However, not quite. We're going to do Queen's Rule. We're going to do Queen's Rule, right? So this becomes sine, and if we add it together, divide by 2, we get this. Huh. Not exactly what you think, right? But that's okay. Remember our training it doesn't have to be in this form. We kind of treat it like square square technique, right? we could change it. If our du, if our du is equal to cosine plus sine, what does u need to be? Sine minus cosine. Okay. So, what that means is we need to turn this in sine, uh, we need to turn this in sine minus cosine, but this requires, I'm sorry, not that. Uh, this requires 1 minus sine 2x. Okay, but what we have is 1 plus sine 2x. So what this needs to be, this needs to be 3 minus sine, mi uh, sine minus cosine squared. Right? Yes. So we would need this for those, if that's a little hard to see, what I did. Is this is pretty much 1 plus 1 plus 2sc right but I need but I need 1 minus 2sc in order for this to happen because this is positive we let this be negative and because we let minus 1 I have to do another plus 1 because originally it was uh, from here this this was originally 2 plus sine, uh, 2 sine this, right? So because we did minus 1, we have to do a plus 1, which is 3, okay? So be very careful, right? We technically added a minus 1, and we have to do a plus 1, okay? So be very careful. Now this is 3 minus uh, s minus c squared, okay? Now we have from 0 to pi over 2. Okay, let me erase this whole mess. So, now we can go ahead and use up, right? Let's see. If I let u equals sine minus cosine, let's see. This is even, so I don't think we have to. Do we have to really care? Let's see. If I plug in 0, I get negative 1. I plug in pi over 2, I get 1. So it seems like we'll be okay. So we can go ahead and start u subbing this. This is now easy to solve. This is equal to 2 over root 3 of inverse tanch of 1 over root 3. And I believe that is our answer. So 2 over root 3 inverse tanch of 1 over root 3. And this is good because this is less than 1, so it's not a complex number, so we don't have to turn it back into log form. Or we don't have to turn we don't have to change it in log form in general. So we can just leave it like this. Okay. If this is more if this is bigger than 1, then you cannot leave your answer like this. It would be unacceptable. Okay? Because that's considered a complex number. So be very careful. Thankfully, this is less than 1. So we can go ahead and... All right, well, it has to be between between 1 and negative 1. 
between negative 1 and 1. Okay, this, uh, this is acceptable if this is between negative 1 and 1. Again, did you ever see this? Multiply top and bottom by 2 cosine, Queen's rule. And then I know this, this, this is what scares a lot of people, but remember that you can always change this into a different form. Okay, do not forget that. It's like square square technique. You can change this into a different form. Okay? Alright. I hope that helps, and I'll see you guys in the next video.